So I find compressors really hard to understand. In fact, I've already done a video on how to use a compressor for worship and I didn't fully understand how to use my compressor. So thanks to user Static Realm for pointing that out and being so gracious. And I would love to show you how to use a compressor in your worship rig. Welcome to Blazing Guitars. So the idea of a compressor is actually pretty straightforward. It takes your signal and evens it out in terms of volume. So it'll take the highest part of your signal and lower it a little bit, and it'll take the lowest part of your signal and raise it a bit, just so that you have a nice, good, clean, even tone. Now the problem is, is that unless you are trying to go for a country chicken picking type of thing, then compression is a really, really subtle effect. And so it can be kind of hard to know when to use it. Do you use it all the time or do you use it just in certain parts of the song? So here are three areas that I use my compressor in. So I'm gonna be using my Reverend Jetstream 390 plugged into my board. And then today we're gonna to be using the JHS Whitey Tidy, which I thought was a really straightforward compressor, but it has a volume knob, a compression knob, and then a blend knob. And I did not understand the blend knob. So the blend knob, if you have it all the way to the right, that means you have a fully dry signal. If you have it all the way to the left, you have a fully wet signal. So that's backwards from how I was thinking about it. So when I did this video before, that was my problem. I had a fully dry signal. So that's the gear that we're gonna be using today. I'll add different pedals depending on what we're doing. And with that, the first way that I like to use my compression is to even out volume swells. And here's what that looks like. So for my volume swells, I like to have a really big reverb and really big delay. So it sounds like this. And you can hear even that reverb has a little bit of a swell to it. And then what I like is to actually have a little bit more overdrive. So I'm gonna turn on the blues breaker side of my Duelist. So the max is gonna sound like this. So what you're gonna hear is when I turn on the compressor, you're gonna hear a lot of kind of the, uh, the mids and the highs be introduced back into the tone. So for this, I'll play it without the compressor first and then play it with the compressor. So what you can hear there is that as you swell, you're getting a fuller picture of the tone earlier. So it helps it just even it out and give you a full, nice sweep. So the second way that I like to use a compressor is when I'm doing individual picking stuff. So what happens is that as you pick, you're gonna have some notes that are a little bit quieter and some notes that are a little bit louder. And especially for like a hook in a song, something that you really want consistent, Adding a little bit of compression can just give you a really nice, consistent, clean tone. So this is what that sounds like. Again, we're gonna do without a compressor and then with a compressor. Okay, and then the third way that I like to use a compressor is just to even out my modulation. So I'm gonna throw on a harmonic tremolo, and what you'll hear is that just with the with a little bit more consistent volume, it'll just kind of even out that, that tremolo as I play. 
So again, we're gonna do it without and then with. So another great way to use a compressor is to use it as a gain stage. So I know a lot of guys who added compressors to their cleans uh, just to give it a little bit of boost and harmonic frequencies and all that kind of good stuff. Just a little bit of extra gain goes a long way when you're talking about tone. So if you wanna, if you have a compressor and it's laying around and you don't know how to use it, try it in a number of different spots. I think with the way that I play, uh, I like to ride my volume knob a lot. And so where my compressor sat on my board, actually, I don't think it's super conducive to how I play uh, because it just can punch the front of my overdrives a little bit harder than I would like. So uh, I'm gonna try to put mine on the back. If you're messing with your compressor, you can try it in a bunch of different ways. So there you have it, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. There's a great video by that pedal show that really does an in-depth exploration on how to use a compressor pedal. So go check that out if you're still a little bit lost. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.